So today I'm going to be working on growing my mushrooms. I'm going to be putting them in their mushroom bags with some straw. But before we put the straw in there, we have to sterilize it. So to do that, we have to boil it in water and then put it with the mushroom spawn and do all this stuff. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. That's what I'm showing here. In case you're wondering what the heck is she doing with all this stuff and the straw and this bag of mush. I'll show you the bag of mush. This is my bag of mush. I got it from North Spore and it is blue oyster mushrooms. So hopefully they will grow great with how I'm doing it. Fingers crossed because if I do something wrong, it might not grow at all. And it might just be a waste of time and money. So that would be fun. Um, but I'm also going to be growing the mushrooms in this book. Um, this book is In the Trees Crept In, which is one of my favorite books. If you haven't read it, I highly recommend reading it. It is a kind of horror type genre without being like too scary. The description of the book is when Scylla and Nori arrive at their aunt's house, it's immediately clear that the manor is cursed. Then this creaking of the house at night and the eerie stillness of the woods surrounding them would be enough of a sign, but there are secrets too. Questions that Scylla can't ignore. Why does it seem that ever since they arrived, the trees have been creeping closer? Who is the beautiful boy who's appeared from the woods? And who is the tall man with no eyes who Nori plays with in the basement at night and a man that no one else can see? I think that's a pretty good description without giving away too much. Um, there's a lot more that happens beyond that. Like it's not just like a straight and narrow story. It's like crazy. Anyways. I highly recommend reading this, but I'm going to grow mushrooms out of it because I thought, well, actually, Newt gave me this suggestion to grow it out of this book because this is really the perfect book to grow mushrooms out of because it just kind of goes along with the story and the cover, too. I think the cover is perfect for it. So we're going to try doing that. I'm not going to eat these mushrooms, FYI, if you're going to comment, oh my goodness, they're poisoning, blah, blah, blah. No, I'm not going to eat them. This is more just for my fun and enjoyment and for pictures. And hopefully I can get the mushrooms to dry on it or something and preserve it. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I really wanted to try it. So we're going to do that. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do first. So I'm gonna open a mushroom bag, put the book in the water, pour the water on the book and let it soak it up and do all that stuff. Then I'm gonna let it um, cool off and then I put the mushrooms within it and then I put it in a mushroom bag, put it in a box, let it sit for several days and then take it out. You gotta spray it. And, you know, it's a whole process. It's a whole process. Yes. So the first thing I had to do with the book was pour some boiling water over it to, to kind of disinfect it and get that water soaked up into the book so that the book was nice and wet because mushrooms really like moist environments. They like a lot of water, so everything that they're going to be growing in has to contain a lot of water within it. And here I am breaking up the mushroom spawn, which you have to do because it comes all clumped together. So breaking it up gets you the little pieces that you can put in things. So I broke up the pieces and I just put them in between pages throughout the whole entire book. I left large gaps in between and then squished it all down together. that was done I put it in a mushroom bag these mushroom bags are special for mushrooms specifically to grow in they have a little ventilation spot on top of them and then you just have to tape them up or tie them off at the end so that mushrooms aren't growing on the top 
I got this bale of straw from Walmart. Actually, it was just a decoration. I couldn't find straw anywhere else, so I just ended up using the decoration for this project. So then I boiled the straw in some water and that also disinfects it. It was also very, very dirty, so I had to kind of wash it a little bit when I was doing this. There was a lot of dirt and mud within the straw. Next, I took the straw and layered it with the mushroom spawn. So I would do a layer of straw and then a layer of the mushroom spawn and just repeat that process until you fill it up to the top and then you roll the top down and close it off. I did about five bags of these. Some of them I used the boiling water, some of them I used hot water, and some of them I had a mixture of hot water and cold water because I kind of wanted to experiment to see how it grew with the different temperatures. And surprisingly, I did not have any problems with any of them. They all grew the mycelium and they've all grown mushrooms as far as I know. I have given two bags of these away. I will say this makes a great gift for mushroom lovers or people who enjoy eating mushrooms. I ended up giving away two of these bags for Christmas. One week later. All right, we're gonna check on the mushrooms here. All right, it looks like the mycelium is growing pretty well. I did a little bit of experiment to see which method would work the best for like the next time I want to do this. So this one I just used hot water, soaked it, the straw in hot water, and then this last one here was hot water and cold water, and then these two here were boiling water. So I think the boiling water did actually work the best because it does seem like there is more mycelium growing or it's growing faster these ones like look at all that on the top you might not be able to see it but there's like a ton of it on the top here all that white stuff is mycelium which the mushrooms grow from and we want this bag to be completely covered push this down a bit so that the mushrooms don't start growing on the top there and these bags, it's growing, but not as much. It's not equal to the other bags. Okay, I have the book in a box here. The book is also doing amazing. And you can see it's all growing in there and it's starting to take over the cover as well, which is super cool. I'm very excited about this one. I'm not going to eat the mushrooms. Um, it's just more looking at and, you know, the experiment of it all. I have taken the book out of its mushroom bag and here's what it looks like taking it out. So now I'm going to have to let it sit in a spot that gets in direct sunlight for a few days and be spraying it twice a day. And hopefully we'll start growing mushrooms. Hopefully. But look at that. Look at that book. I wish more of the cover was showing, but that's okay. So this was about five days later. As you can see, the little light tan spots on the book is the mushrooms growing. And I got very, very excited when I saw them because I realized that what I was trying to do was working, which I was a little surprised about. They're pinning. Look at all of them. There's gonna be so many. You 
can see their little blue heads on them. So I must say that I am very, very pleased with the results of this project. Everything looked amazing on the book, especially. I would love to try other types of mushrooms with this process, so we'll see what else we can do. As always, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. Please subscribe to see more mushroom and crafting and art type of content. We will see Newt in the next one. Okay, bye!